Welcome back, all you beautiful patriots out there. It's your boy, Top Rome, Mr. Conservative. And yes, patriots, I'm back at you guys with another video. Now, please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff from you guys. Don't forget to share the video. Don't forget to call me Mr. Conservative. And yes, patriots, so I am back at you guys with this somewhat quick video. Now, let me explain somewhat quick video for you guys. I mean, I'm going to try my best to make the video as quick as possible for you guys. I know you guys are important people with a butt ton of stuff you need to do. And I really do appreciate every last one of you guys that tune in. I really do appreciate from the bottom of my heart, you guys. So, there is a few things I want to talk to you guys about, but before we get into it, you guys, let me give that quick disclaimer for the YouTube real quick. YouTube, these are current events. These are current topics, okay? So what I am doing is having an open discussion. What I mean by open discussion, I mean I'm going to be weighing in, giving my own personal opinion about the matter at hand. Now, I realize that my personal opinion does not represent facts, so I'm not spreading any disinformation whatsoever. It's my own personal opinion about the matter at hand. That is what a open discussion means, okay? We're just exercising our first amendment right and having an open discussion that's all we're doing patriots i mean that well that's all we're doing youtube should i say um so what i want to talk to you guys about i want to talk about the whole border crisis okay i want to take a moment i want to talk about that because yes that is a crisis patient patriots and they want to talk about the whole COVID being a pandemic Right. They want to talk about, oh, the COVID, the Delta variant, this pandemic. Well, have you looked at our southern border lately? Have you looked there? Because that seems like it's a real pandemic at hand that needs to be addressed immediately. Would you guys agree or disagree? Comment below and let me know, because let me let me explain something. Let me explain something. All right. These people would like to tell you and make you believe the remain in Mexico policy. You guys remember the remain in Mexico policy, right? Trump came up with the remain in Mexico policy. They would say that that's racist. How is it racist? Oh, yes, you're racist against Mexicans. How did that make any sense? How did that make any sense whatsoever? When clearly you got 14,000, give or take a thousand or two, you guys, underneath a bridge, immigrants underneath a bridge, and majority of them, like 10,000, give or take a thousand or two is Haitian Haitians. Yes, Patriots. So how is it racist against Mexicans? The remain in Mexico policy. How is it now? You guys remember when they caught like 11 or 12 Iranians as well. Now, Iranians not even on this continent. They're in a whole nother continent. They're in a whole nother, you know, they're across the whole ocean. You know what I mean? But they will make you believe, they will make you believe that just because you want to remain in Mexico policy and because you want a wall, you're some type of racist. But that makes no sense whatsoever. You know it makes no sense whatsoever. It is super crazy. Now, I would like to ask a question here. How many of these Haitians has been tested and been vaccinated, right? Because you got Joe Biden, you got Joe Biden mandating it for us, right? What about them? You got 10,000 Haitians Jam pack underneath a bridge. What about their health? Right? What about that? No, 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 Tyrone. No, 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 no. Not them. You. You get vaccinated. You get vaccinated. That's the see, and look, and that's why they wonder why people are not taking this whole vaccine thing serious. Why people are not taking the whole COVID thing serious. Right? Because you're telling us that we need to get tested, vaccinated, but you got 10,000. Oh, you need, to, you need to separate six feet apart, six feet apart. But you got 10,000 Haitians jam pack underneath a bridge. Now, let's not even go to the whole kids in cages, right? right? Because remember the whole kids in cages thing underneath Trump? And then when you go back now underneath Joe Biden, they got bodies on top of bodies. You know what I mean? During the whole pandemic, right? It's a pandemic. Right? I thought you were supposed to be socially distancing. Right? But yeah, they don't care, bro. They don't take it very serious. They do not take it serious at all. What they want to do is make, they're going to use this pandemic, right, as an excuse to force all of their agendas to rush in any policy so they can try to stay in power, you guys. Real talk, patriots. Real talk. Try to destroy this country as much as possible. Yeah, I'm telling you. Joe Biden has did so much damage in the little bit of time. He haven't even been in office for a whole year yet, you guys. And he has done so much damage already. Now, we got pretty much like three and a half more years with this lip tart. That's if he make it the whole three years. Real talk. Oh, God, Patriots. Oh, God, that's crazy, you guys. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy, right? Now. You guys comment below and let me know what you guys think about this. Because you know what? Before I go into what happened to me today, because I want to tell you guys what happened to me today. You guys are going to get a kick out of this. Um, now, 
They're trying to hide this from us. They're trying to hide this from us. Look, so as I was reading the article, and I don't know if this is true or not, YouTube, but I, it's what's in the article, okay? Is that they they, they wouldn't let the, the drones fly over or personal drones or people to fly their drones over and take pictures. And they said that it was interfering with the border security, you know, officers and their, their, their duties and stuff like that. That's what they told us. Right. But my honest opinion, my honest opinion about the matter at hand, they stopped them people from flying the drones because they didn't want people to take pictures. They didn't want people. They didn't want this to get out. They didn't want this to leak. Well, too bad. It's already out there. It's already out there. We already know. We know you got 10,000 Haitians. To, uh, uh, um, you got four, sorry, 14,000 immigrants and 10,000 of them is Haitians. Real talk. Real talk. So we, we already know. We already know. And the crazy thing about this whole entire situation, Patriots, is you guys remember, I think a couple days or something, it was, it was a while back, not, not that long ago, you guys, Joe Biden has announced that we was not going to be flying Haitians back, like deporting them, flying them back to the country. So obviously, and I think Ted Cruz, Ted Cruz actually made a valid point when he was talking about this. As soon as they found out about that, they got on their phones, they started emailing, texting, Snapchatting, Twittering, or whatever, how they was communicating with their cousins, their uncles. The aunties, you know, their brothers, their sisters, their best friends, the cats, the dog. Like, hey, man, they're not, they're not deporting us. Come on, come on with it. You're good, because I think they said they started off with like 700, and then like in a matter of weeks, and in a week, it grew to like thousands and thousands, which is crazy. I don't have the exact number. That's why I said thousands and thousands. You know what I mean, YouTube? So don't strike me because I'm giving them just giving, but they they are in the thousands now. Which am I wrong? No, I'm not wrong. But, yes, you got to be careful what you say with YouTube, man, because they love to strike people. You, I mean, I, I don't know if they do if they don't, but it just seems like they like to strike me. Maybe, maybe it's me, right? But let me uh, let, let me speed this up, you guys. I want to tell you about what happened to me today, you guys, because you guys are going to get a kick out of this. Now, this incident could be considered racism. And I want your guys' honest opinion, Okay. And I don't believe it was racism, but it kind of felt that way. And it felt like it was going that way. You know what I mean? So my brother-in-law came over. He's doing me a favor. He's detailing my wife's car, you guys. Um, you know, and my wife was like, you know what? I'm going to go out and can I take your truck? I'm like, sure, take my truck. We're, we're, we're sitting there. You know, we're smoking a cigarette. We're cleaning her car and stuff of the nature. But my brother-in-law left his phone on the top of the car, on the top of the truck. And my wife drove off. So he lost his phone. We're trying to find the phone. All of that mumbo jumbo. Well, we end up finding it, you guys. Well, we didn't find it. Somebody found it and returned it to us. So thank God, right? Thank God, right? But so we're going through the whole process. We're trying to use my phone. We're trying to find find my iPhone. We're trying to do all this other stuff. We're trying to trying to find the phone, right? And we're like, you know what? Let's go back. Let's go to my truck. Um, oh, hey wife, where are you guys at? Oh, we're over here. Okay, so I put in the GPS, we go there to the truck. We were looking to see if it was still on top of the hood. We're trying to look inside the car. I'm like, okay, you're gonna have to, you know, let me in so I can look inside the car and see if the phone is in there. Well, some white lady, so she pulls up, she pulls up Patriots and she started asking and, and interrogating us. Like, hey, do you live here? What are you doing here? Do you work here? What's going on? Asking dumb questions. You know what I mean? Like, I, I was getting super annoyed, Patriots. I was, because I haven't had any sleep whatsoever. I think I slept like two hours today and I still got it. And now I'm back at work, going to go do another 12 hour shift. But that's, that's a whole nother story for another time, right? But yeah, so she's just asking questions and she's just being a super caring. Being a super caring, like, I, I swear, like, I didn't think it had anything to do with racism, but my brother started to feel some type of way. You know what I mean? Like, man, you know, is it because I'm black? You know what I mean? I mean, he was feeling that way. And I already know what she was doing when she went around that corner. She was going, she was calling the police, which he wanted to leave. And I understand why he wanted to leave. You know what I mean? He didn't want no problems. I actually wanted to stay there. I want to stay there because I was going like, you know what? No, I'm not, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to just lay down. I'm not going to just accept this. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, bring the police here. So when they can run the freaking plates, right? They see who plates that they belong. And I'm telling this lady like, Hey man, you know, just, you know, no, we don't, we, we're looking for something. And my wife is coming with the keys. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, what, what's the problem? 
But yes, you guys comment below and let me know what you guys think about that. Because I, if I didn't have the grace of God over me and a high calling of God over me, I would have told that lady what, what. I would have told her to keep, keep it moving. I would have used some colorful words. You guys know, <laughs> man. Yeah. But yes, so that's what happened to me today. Um, I just, I don't, I don't think it had anything to do with racism, but you guys comment below. What do you guys think? You guys think it has something to do with race? Do you think that she's seen this, uh, this kind of like, you know, this guy, which I'm white, right? But I, I don't look completely like a white, white man. I look like I'm mixed with some, right? Uh, and you see this tall black man. Do you think that she, she, uh, she was being racist? You guys comment below and let me know. Or do you guys think she was just being a butthole and a Karen? You guys comment below and let me know on that one, you guys. So I'm going to end the video, you guys. I'm going to end the video. Well, matter of fact, before we end the video, I, I got one more minute. Right, I'm making 11 minutes. No, let's make it 12 minutes because I got something I want to tell you something about real quick, and it has to do with the southern border, real quick, you guys. So clearly, clearly, you got 10,000 Haitians, right? Clearly, you got people from Venezuela, you got people from Iran, you got people, all type of people coming in through our southern border. This is why we need a wall. This is why we need border security. This is why we need a secure border. All right. This is why we need to go back to the remain in Mexico policy. This is why we need to go back to building the wall. You got 10,000 Haitians jam-packed underneath a bridge. Real talk. 10,000 jam-packed underneath a bridge. <laughs> oh, my God, Patriots. You know what I mean? And you know what? They're not testing them like they should. They're not vaccinating them like they should, right? Because, but no, what, what, huh? What? What, what you say? No, they don't have to get vaccinated, but I have to, right? Uh, I Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's see how far you get with that one. Let's see how far you get with that one. So I am going to end the video with you guys. I said a really quick video, but you guys know I do sometimes. Let's end the video with the let's make America great. Who and let's keep America great, Patriots. And come on in here and I'm going to make it really quick. How are we going to make America great and how are we going to keep America great? We're going to make America great is by securing our border. All right. That's what's going to make America great. And that's definitely what's going to keep America great. And I'll be coming back at you guys with another video.